What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. So today we're gonna talk about how to spar light. Now, we're gonna talk about specifically about striking. So how to spar light when you're striking. Now, it's a little bit harder, I find, to get a, get a good grasp of how to do this. So I'm gonna show you guys a video of me sparring with one of my buddies and I'll narrate it for you guys and tell you guys why we're doing things the way we're doing it and It'll, it'll all make sense. But before that, two reasons why you're going to want to spar light. So the first reason, reason is you don't want to get injured. You can't afford to get injured because, you know, you have uh, other responsibilities that, um, yeah, you, you can't just, that won't allow you to be injured. And it's just not a good thing. And a lot of people will avoid uh, sparring because of this, because they don't want to get injured. But the thing is, you don't have to. Because the only way you're going to get good at developing, um, you know, punching, kicking, and, and fighting is to spar. But there's ways to, to go about it, right? Now, there's also people who, if you want to progress faster, then you need to know how to spar light, right? Because then you're able to do a lot more volume. And volume ultimately is what's going to lead to you developing a high level uh, of skill when it comes to striking. It's not intensity. There's a place for intensity, but for the most part, if you go intense, you won't be able to go um, a lot, right? So then you're gonna have to decrease the frequency. Okay, so those are the two things. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna set up the video right now, and then before we go into it, I just want to talk about a couple of points for you guys. Have it all written down here. So think of it this way: it's not in one session. That's going to make a difference. You're not going to get any better in one session. So there's no point in getting banged up and busted up in one session. It's going to take a lot of volume, a lot of sessions. So the only way to do to train, to be able to train like that is to go light, right? Now, also, if you know how to spar, if you know how to spar light, people are going to want to spar with you. And that's a good thing because then it's going to allow you to well get in a lot of practice with quality uh quality people because guys who, who've been doing this for a while man for the most part like they, they don't want to spar with with people who don't know how to go about it and who are going too hard who are spazzy you know spazzy a little bit is okay but yeah usually the guys who spaz out like they did are the ones who tend to uh, go hard right so that's not good now that's not a reason why you know, want to learn how to spar because then, well, you're going to have more, um, well, you're going to have more partners who, who are going to want to spar with you. Now, the opposite is true. If you're a dumbass, <laughs> you don't know how to spar, no one's going to want to spar with you. And if no one spars with you, you're not going to get any better. Okay. And even the good guys, even the guys who could kick your butt. They're not going to want to spar with you because they don't have time for that, man. Like even, even the pros, man, like they, they don't, you know, unless they feel like, you know, putting a, beat, a beating on you, you know, for uh, just because they, they, it was part of their training kind of, but other than that, they're not going to want to spar with you, man, because they're, they're, they, they're professionals. Like they have their, their dedicated training partners that know how to keep them safe and that they could trust. So if they can't trust you, they're not going to want to spar with you. That's one, right? And now, if you're a crazy guy and you you spar hard and that's the way you like like to do it, then the problem is only guys who are going to want to spar with you are other people like you who are crazy. And if you spar with crazy people all the time, it's just going to be a all-out brawl all the time. It's going to be an exchange, you know. Like, and what's what's going to happen? Well, you're just going to go home with a headache every night, and then at one point you're going to stop because you know. I mean, it's just inevitable. Like you're gonna get busted up. You're gonna bust people up. You you go hard. The other person goes hard and it escalates. And then you know. So if you do that um, enough times, um, you're gonna have a very short uh, career, right? Now let's see. Now, da, 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 da. oh, so here's the rule of thumb when it comes to sparring light. You want to go very, very light when you touch the head. So you want to just tap the head, you know, and it's going to happen that I'll go in a little bit harder. But if you try to go very, very light, let's say you try to go like 10% on the head and then it ends up being 20, 
it's not the end of the world. Like the guy, you know, your partner should have your guard up. Um, and it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Now for the body, you could go a little bit harder. Um, you know, it's not the end of the world. I mean, it's the body. What's the worst thing that could, that could happen? Like you'll drop the guy because you know, you got a liver shot. Now you want to be a little bit careful as well. Like don't, don't try to crack his ribs, you know, like you, ha you kind of have to have a, a sort of agreement with your partner. You know, so you have to fill each other out a little bit and then you can escalate. You go really light and then you can crank it up. You communicate with your partner and then you can start cranking it up a little bit. You tell them, hey, I, you know, was that okay? Was that too hard? And then they'll let you know, right? So I think that if you do it like that, then it develops that trust uh, between you and your partner. So it's important. So harder on the body, sure. Very, very light on the head. Okay. And yeah, you got to see it as a game as well. Like chill out, man, chill the F out. It's you're not trying to win. So that's the thing in sparring. There is no winner. I mean, if you, if you go in with that mindset, then it's all good. So you're there to develop your skill set. Yes. Of course, there's going to be somebody that's going to, uh, you know, have be more dominant, but it doesn't matter because the other person might just be trying something new. Or whatever you know but you try things here and there and and that's that's the fun of it if you go light then you're not you're not you're not gonna just revert to what you know works you're not just gonna shell up and just do the stuff that you know is gonna work for you and you know you're not gonna take any risk and all that and it's no fun right it's not um um unless you're preparing for a fight that's a different story but if you're just sparring no you wanna you wanna play man so you wanna it's a, it's like a game of tag you just want to touch each other obviously you can touch a little bit harder when it comes to the body the head keep it easy take it easy i mean okay and here's my rule with um with having you know when, when i spar with somebody it's a free strike rule i mean if he goes hard i'm gonna tell him hey you know take it easy you're going a little bit hard you know okay that's strike one strike two hey dude chill out there's no strike three in the sense that like I just I just walk away after I'm like dude okay never mind man whatever you know and it's not about um it's very hard to do actually because you know we have egos right somebody hits us hard we just want to like uh reciprocate and start beating him down too we want to pay we want to pay him back for what he you know for uh, what he did but it's not the right way to go because then it becomes a slug fest and you know like there's no there's there's no self-control there you know and as a martial artist it's important to have self-control and to communicate with your partner that way. So me, it's three strikes. Like I'm not gonna, I'm gonna sit here and try to teach you how to do things. Like if you're, if I see you're crazy, then okay, whatever, go be crazy elsewhere. You know, let somebody else, let some other crazy dude go, go mess you up. You know, and I'll tell you guys another story about that some other time. But it happened recently <laughs> at the gym. It was hilarious. All right, da, 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 da. what's the other point I want to to touch on? Uh, da, 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 da. yeah, so. Once again, there's a place for hard sparring, and that's in, in preparing preparing for a, a fight, right? So you're in fight camp. And even then, you have to have partners that you can trust and who are skilled enough to, you know, like back off if, you know, like if, if they see that, you know, they might have, um, uh, you know, hurt you, right? Because sometimes you get tagged with a shot. I mean, your partner has to be self-aware enough to be like, oh, shit, you know, like, so they back off and all they have to take care of you right and obviously if you're the one uh going for a fight then yeah like you have to you know put the beat down on them but i mean there's still you still have to have control so you have to have partners that you could trust mm, good partners and the sparrings you know the hard sparrings have to be managed properly you know so we'll uh, we'll talk about that in another video but I mean, you can't be sparring hard every single, like, let's say a fight camp is six weeks. You're not going to be six weeks going hard two, three times a week. You're, like, you're going to die, you know? Um, and also now, if you, if you're not preparing for a, a fight, but you still want to experience that, that, uh, that intensity, then because you never experienced it before, I would suggest maybe doing it, you know, once a week at most. Now, once a week, but then when you go in there, you have to understand that it's hard sparring. So you have to be mentally ready. And then depending on how that goes, you have to wait at least two days to see if how your brain is, how your body is. 
especially the brain, because sometimes the the effects of like micro concussions or concussions, like they're not going to show up. They could show up two days, uh, two days later. It's like a delayed onset uh, reaction, right? So you want to be careful. And if you feel after two days, like, okay, there's something wrong with your head or something wrong with your joints or your body, then obviously, you know, take the time. Just go, go, you could go back and train, but don't do any hard sparring. Just take a week off until it gets better. Then you can go back to hard sparring once a week, you know? And so that would be my, my advice when it comes to uh, hard sparring. If you want to hard spar, I don't even hard spar anymore now. Like I'm not preparing for any fight anytime soon. So like we'll go and, and, and I still eat shots here and there, man. You guys are going to see in the video. All right. So without further ado, let's uh, switch up here. Boom. I'm going to play this. Da, 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 da. All right. Kill the volume on this a little bit. All right. Do, 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 do. See, I'm a southpaw, guys. You see, boom. See, we're going light, feeling each other out. You guys, you see how the kicks are controlled? You see, boom, boom. We're going slow. And sometimes you got to slow it down a little bit just so that, um, you know, because if you go too fast and you don't have control enough control yet, man, you're going to, it might land hard, right? And that's no good. Uh, obviously, see, we're, we're playing. We're playing, right? It's, it's an exchange. It's an exchange. We try to catch each other. You know, obviously, like, we're going to wrap it up a little bit here and there. But, you know, you got to feel each other out. Take your time. You see, and you kind of, you want you want to pull your kicks a little bit as well. You know, you're not really trying to go for his face and kick his uh, kick his chin in. <laughs> you know, with the front kicks. Because the front kicks, guys, guys, like, those things sometimes, you don't see it coming. Because it comes, like, from underneath and straight up. So it's dangerous, man. So you want to, just because the opening is there doesn't mean you should crack your buddy. All right? So there you go. We're playing with the kicks. Boom, boom, boom. You see? And a lot of times what I like to do is I like to punch the, the forearms because, you know, it prevents them from punching. And at the same time, it's it's a distraction. And then you can use that to, you know, move left or right. And, uh, yeah, you're going to see. You see? This is us. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. And, of course, yeah, you just have fun with it, right? You try stuff. And there you go. You move. So this is what likes light looks like. You know, we're not trying to hurt each other. And you see, that's the thing, guys. If if a kick goes through or a hit goes through, you got to check in on your partner to make sure he's okay. Like, stop. Don't just continue and beat him down, you know? And you see how we're going? Like, you can move fast and you can come in with a little bit of speed, but don't be too snappy with the punches and the kicks, right? Because you, you don't want to hurt your partner. Like we're, we're trying to develop. And you, you could do this all day long. And you're going to get better at it too. And obviously, like if I see something, I'm going to capitalize on it. But I'll, I'll still pull my punches. And, and and that takes a little bit of time to develop. But it's worth it. Then after that, like you can you can train. You can try stuff. And then, whoa, you see right there? <laughs> Look, did he just jump on me and keep on punching me? No, it's like he checks in. Okay, am I okay? See, he came in. He swept me while I was... Um, uh, while I was on one leg, and yeah, I was trying to set up something else here. So now I'm chit chatting with my with my buddies. You know, they're sitting there taking a break, watching. So then you see, like, okay, take a little break because I'm I obviously just took a hard fall there, and uh, you know, it sucks. So now we're talking about it. We're trying to like figure out. Okay, well, I was explaining to them what I was trying to do, and they told me, well, maybe do this, do that, whatever. And of course, they're laughing at me. So you know, that's that's the name of the game. Oh, by the way, you guys can tell the size difference, right? I'm 5'8", 150 pounds. My buddy is about one, uh, 190, 5'11", uh, right? So look at the size discrepancies. And yeah, man, and he's, um, we go light, man. We go light. Boom, boom, right? Boom, you see, look. And you got to relax. You got to breathe, so. It takes a little bit of time. You see? And when I kick him, I'm like, okay, I'm going to throw the kick. But at the same time, I'm not trying to go through the glove, right? And, of course, like, guys, keep your guard up. 
You see, he checked in on me right there. He side kicked it and I, I went back, flying back, but it slid off my shoulder and luckily <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't hit my face. There, see, that was a hit as well. Boom. I come in. Oh, all right. What the heck happened there? Anyways, I don't know. I guess we both, uh, I threw a punch and he tried. <laughs> but there you go. So now we're playing. Boom, boom, boom. Combo up, moving. Right. This is play, right? So there, see, I got cracked again. And yeah, I'm trying to come in. Okay. Off camera. Okay. And we're here. Yeah. And then there's there's room for mistakes when you go when you go light. There's a lot more room for mistakes. And at the same time, there's there's correction. You know, you try things, you know, you trust your partner, and if you get busted up, you can uh, your partner can correct you, or if, if anybody who knows what they're they're looking at or is looking from the outside, even if they don't really know, but they can, you know, they can have an idea of hey, you maybe you could have done this, your hand wasn't up, or whatever. So once again, okay, I fell on my butt and you get back up. Oh yeah, you see that that funny uh the shorts I'm wearing? Those are uh diamond those shorts have a, a cup in it. It's called a diamond cup. I'm gonna make a video because they sent it to me and man, it's it's past due big time in the sense that it's been a couple of months I was supposed to do a, a what do you call it, review. But uh yeah. Kind of sent it to me and <laughs> I was I was going through a couple of things here and there, and at the same time, um, yeah, I just stopped sparring at that time. Like I was training a lot less, but now I'm back into it. Boom. So you guys see, this is me. There you go. Done. Tired. And is it the end of the video here? Yeah, that's me crawling back, <laughs> taking it off my gloves. So let's. go back to oops hey what's going on here guys did that make sense tell me what you think do you guys spar like this do you guys um is this helpful do you guys think that it was too light do you think it wasn't light enough you know um let me know what you think and yeah so i don't use uh headgear Okay, headgear, like I would use it more if I was just do doing pure boxing and we're going, we're going like hard because there's headbutts, right? That's the thing. The danger there is with the headbutts and that could cut you open and all. But I don't like to use headgear because it kind of limits my, my uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, my vision, right? My peripheral vision, like you can't see as, as wide. And also it just, it just adds a little bit of uh, mass to your head and... It's easier to get clipped, I find. And it's actually, I think, worse for concussions. Whereas when you don't have that, you can kind of, you know, you have more uh, uh, more room to, oh, you're, you're a smaller target. And yeah, it doesn't, um, when you have like, uh, what do you call it, like a, 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 a headgear, right? It can kind of like clip the headgear, and just rattle your brain a little bit more and just like twist your head. So that's why I don't, I don't like to use headgear at all. Um, and you see how we're going. It's, it's light, right? And of course, always have your guard up. You know, you have to have partners that you could trust. But anyways, all that to say that I, I hope that was helpful. Let me know what you guys think below and how you guys go about it. But I'm telling you guys, if you, if you haven't tried sparring this way or you ever, you know, like give it a shot. Give it a shot, right? And remember what I talked about at the beginning? And that's it, guys. So I hope that was, uh, that was insightful and helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.